What's up everybody? New week and a new tutorial actually this week. Uh, and this week I'm going to go through how you can use your desktop to manage your Instagram account uh, and what you actually can do with your computer because it's very limited but yeah I will uh, go through it so let's dive right in this week's episode. My name is Teresa Eriksson and my mission is actually to help you to understand the Instagram platform and how you actually can use it to grow your audience and create content that people actually want to see and want to share. If you are like me, that I always want to learn and I always want to discover new things, um, I have put up an audiobook for you that you can download. In the description below, I have put up a link that you can download to have on your next walk or in the car when you're driving to work or wherever you're going. I have an audiobook that you can download and for free, of course, and you can learn some of my tools and tactics that I use to grow my Instagram and just some basic that you really have to have in mind while you are setting up your Instagram account for success. That's the thing I can offer you right here, right now to grow your audience on Instagram. Uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I'm using my computer because I'm like sitting like a little hobbit all the time on my computer. Uh, so I actually want to use it while I'm working with other stuff. So how I can actually use my little baby of computer-ish uh, and how I use it to actually manage my Instagram account because you can do some stuff on your computer but not a absolutely not everything. Instagram is uh, and they all they want to have it as a mobile app. That's very important to understand. It's super limited what you can do with your uh, your account on your computer but it's some plugins you can install and some stuff that you can do on your computer so I will show you today what how I'm planning and how I'm uh, creating my content from a computer so let's dive right into computer and no more small talk now we are on my desktop and I use a Mac, but it doesn't matter what kind of computer you, ha you have, but uh, what I'm using inside this uh, to administrate my account and just look and connect with people on my computer, I use Google Chrome. In Google Chrome, I can use this plugin that's called Chrome IG story and this is a really good feature actually to use because here you can download other people's story if you want to repost anyone's story or if you want to look at other people's story on your computer this is a really really useful tool when I have been administrating other people's or businesses accounts I have actually used this quite a lot and like highlight people in my community that is customers for the business I am actually running the account for. What I'm doing here then is often that I'm downloading people's stories or yeah, just connecting with people on my laptop. Here you can actually, in this plugin, you can actually search for usernames, hashtags or places that you want to look at. And uh, down here you can download and here you can actually share the story. Too. As you see here in the button, we have friends, the people that I'm following. I have ex the explore page. I can explore other people's uh, stories. I can see live videos that is recommended for me. And I can also see locations here, location stories. This is actually really, really interesting. Here you can see other countries and those kind of things. You can download these too. So if you want to install this, it's just to Google Chrome. IG story, IG story, and you will get this plugin to install to your Google Chrome. So what more can you do here yet? Yeah, well, you have the homepage. If you press the little button up to the left, you have uh, the icon for Instagram and you can press there and you will come to the homepage of Instagram. In the middle here you have the search bar, here you can search for people, places and hashtags if you want to connect with people and you want to comment and like other people's pictures. You can go in and search here too. 
and up to the right here you have the little icon for searching or exploring so you can explore it's like your explore page on instagram on the app so here you can actually go through and see if it's someone that you want to follow from your desktop and use just watch from here if it's something that you resonate with and don't want to sit on your phone you can actually go here too and watch what's happening and you get suggested people here that you might want to follow that instagram sees that you maybe are friends with on facebook or just things that this is people i think you want to follow as in the mobile version version you have the little heart here that tells you that something have happened and here if you have a little red mark and a little red dot beneath the heart you actually have something that have happened here uh, so you can go in here and you can see what what have happened here too and you can then reply to people if you go in here for instance one of my pictures someone have been writing to me so then i can go down here scroll down and see that okay this one have been commenting on my my thing so then i can write here and i can add mention gin and then i can reply to the person so on people's posts you can like them from your computer and you can comment and you can see how many likes uh, the picture have got you can write a comment and you can also save it if you want to save it to some some of your collections you can press the little saving button down to the right if you want to save it for later for instance and then you have up to the right you come to your profile here you can see your posts and you can see some of the collections that you have been saving for later so here you can see the saved posts and you can do some editing for your profile you can you can't do so much from your computer that is really important to understand that Instagram is mobile app and they want to keep everything on your phone so they are really limited on what you can do here but you can edit your profile so your bio you can write something on your bio so you can write your bio you can insert a link for your web page and you can if you want to write something in your bio and want to have you know um, your bio in each in a new line you can write it in a word document or anything and do your spacing and do your new lines as you want and then you can copy it and paste it into your biography and you can get it up here so here you can edit that too you can change your password you can change uh, applications that you can use with instagram and you can change here if you have other apps that are linked to your instagram account you can look uh, on comments here and you can choose to uh, hide um, comments that that aren't good for you and here i would suggest you actually to add some keywords that instagram if if someone writes this instagram will block it immediately uh, so for instance follow for follow follow i would suggest you to write up here Because if someone is using this words inside your posts and Instagram sees or the algorithm is, is seeing that you actually uh, that the account that is commenting is a fake account and only like sell uh, Instagram followers or something your engagement rate will drop so follow for follow you can choose to write up other like bad words that you don't want people to write in your comments this is a really go good tool to actually use so you don't get spammy comments in this menu you can also see uh, your mail and if you want some texts you can choose what you want to uh, subscribe on and you can also choose here if you want to um, manage your contacts and uh, that you have on your phone and you can sync them and uh, connect with them on Instagram a lot of people is asking like how can I manage my 
Instagram account from my computer, upload posts and upload um, the description and manage hashtags and those kind of things. It's a lot for me. It's a lot easier because I'm working on my computer all the time. So I just want to do everything on my computer. Though I know that Instagram is a mobile app and they want you to use the phone. Um, but you can go around this. There's a lot of different apps outside Instagram that helps you to post and those kind of things. You have Hootsuite and you have Planoly and just Google and you will find a lot. But I will show you Planoly that I'm using because I just feel that it's a super super great tool uh, to use and for me it fits me really well. Uh, here is actually Planoly. So in here you can see uh, your post and you can see that everything lines together. You can schedule posts. You can see here when I'm uploading my content and you can schedule as far as you, you like in advanced. So what I'm doing is that I'm uploading uh, my media to the app. Um, so planly.com and uh, you can just drag in from your a folder on your computer. So if you want to upload a picture to this uh, browser or this page, you just simply add new media up here, or you can just drag in a media that you want to use. And it pops up here. And now when you have uploaded your pictures, you can drag the pictures around and see how it fits and aligns together like this. You maybe want to just correct everything maybe you have like each second post you have a quote or you have something that you want to have in a certain order so you can fix all that and then you press on the picture and here you get a lot of different options first here here you can uh, write your description like hello i'm flying um, you write something really good, you can use uh, emojis or th those kind of things. I use something called emoji keyboard. What I'm doing then is that I'm going to emoji keyboard and then I press on different emojis that I want, uh, that I often is using and I just copy these and if I want them in my post, I just paste them. On my Mac it's command C for uh, copying and command V for uh, pasting. And then when I'm, I have been writing my description and I'm, I'm happy with this, I am typing all my hashtags. And when you write your hashtags, you can see that you get a lot of different options here. So what I want to use is maybe Sweden. And then I see here how many people that have been uploading pictures inside this hashtag. So maybe this one I want to use. And then you can see here it says remaining. So I have from my 30 hashtags that I can be using, I have now used two. Now I have 28 remaining. And you can also do 20 uh, at mentions so it's counting down that too maybe I want to tag myself then I can tag myself too and here also suggestion is coming up here so I want to add myself and then I can schedule a date maybe if I want to schedule it on today it's Sunday so maybe I want to schedule it uh, on Sunday I know that my followers are online at 12 p.m. for instance. So I post that or I choose that and now I have scheduled it so I just press save. And now you can see that I have a post scheduled 12 p.m. this Sunday and you see that up here you have got a little S mark and that means that I have scheduled this. So now when you have uploaded um, your picture to Planoly you want to uh, upload it to actually Instagram. So how do you do it? Do, how do you do it? Uh, you download the app Planoly to your phone and the app is looking uh, like this. Uh, you have a little Planoly app and here you can see all the posts that you have scheduled. Uh, now you see I have this post schedule and you can uh, go through like in the computer uh, when you saw that you haven't scheduled, scheduled everything like that, you get it inside here. What the Planoly app actually is doing is that they are uh, they are not posting for you. They are sending you a notification to your phone and saying like, hi, uh, now we have uh, scheduled a post, please post it. 
um, so they are going to send you a notification to get a notification that it have been uh, that you have scheduled a post so you open the Planoly app and you see that uh, it already pops up super great and you press on post it's preparing so now it's just copying everything that you have here uh, and it will send it co you can choose to copy it, copy it to Instagram so choose copy to Instagram so here you can choose if you want to put it up to your event your, uh, your story um, I think they mean or if you want to post it as a post um, so I choose post like my Instagram post so down in the left corner you have small arrows and these I'm I have always fitted my picture so it's the biggest size uh, that can be inside uh, Instagram. So I press the little arrows because it's going to take up most screen. Uh, the picture is going to take up more space on the screen. So that's a really really good uh, tool to or technique that you actually show up uh, because if you see a big picture on your screen instead of like a little wide screen picture you're going to be seen more so that's just a little extra tips for you so uh, i press on next if you choose any filters you can use this uh, now uh, or you can choose it now that you often post with and how you edit your photos always be consistent with this uh, and now when you are posting you just hold on the text tool so you hold it so you can paste in your text now as I mentioned uh, Planoly already have copied your text so here now you can just paste it so I hold it uh, so I get the option to paste in so then I, I just paste in everything I've been writing what I've noticed here a little uh, warning of finger uh, is that if I just post and I don't see or if I have like new lines and spaces and those kind of things it's not everything is going to be compressed when you are uploading it so if you have like here I have a new line then I need to go up here and I need to uh, delete one step back and now do a new uh, enter line like push, pressing down to the right and do a new one and I need to go back uh, to the next line, delete and go up and then press on enter again so I get it to uh, be a new line. Uh, because if I just post it everything is going to be compressed and nothing is going to get on a new line. And I want to have some air around my, my text uh, so everything isn't just cluttered together. So, uh, when I'm finished with this and I have everything, I have the tags and I have the hashtags, uh, I can tag persons as usual, um, I can uh, choose places, I can send it to Facebook or Twitter or those kind of things. And then it's just to press share. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed uh, watching and that you had learned something how you can use your computer to manage your Instagram account. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and also make sure to share it to your friend if you think that they also would like to know this information. Also, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications if you want to get notified when I'm uploading new content so you can really stand out in the Instagram world and how you actually can create content uh, regarding this area of uh, your business. Also make sure that you download the audiobook that I mentioned in the beginning uh, so I can teach you and teach you what I know, what, how you can actually go to Instagram and create content that people actually want to follow and want to engage with. To the next video, take care and I will see you then. Bye!